Hello out there, this is Isaiah Nelson, and we are back with another Bedtime Story Podcast. And this time we are discussing Jeffrey Chaucer's The Wife of Bath's Tale. Within the story, a brave knight of valor foolishly rapes a woman and steals her virginity. The queen ruling the land sentences the knight to death unless he can answer a near impossible question. What does a woman most desire? She gave the knight a year and a day to solve this ridiculous question. Through this year and a day, the knight found this answer from an elderly woman who tricks him into marrying her. But the knight gained the understanding of women, nor did it change his way of thinking when it came to him. The knight shows he did not gain the full understanding of women by his response to his wife when she asked him. You have two choices. Which one will you try? To have me old and ugly till I die, but still a loyal, true, and humble wife that will never displease you all her life? Or would you rather have a young and pretty, and chance your arm what happens in the city, where friends will visit you because of me? The knight replied to his wife's question with a defeated tone, as if either way he was going to be unsatisfied. Despite that, he gave his wife control of the situation, which is what women most desire. The knight was not thinking about his wife having control of the situation. Instead, he was being selfish and was concerned on his needs of trying to end that marriage with his wife. An example of a knight not showing full understanding of women is him only caring for his wife's appearance. The knight gives his wife excuses for why they should not be together. One of the reasons was the fact that they were in diff differing social classes and the marriage wasn't right and wouldn't work due to social imbalance. All of his excuses disappear though the moment the woman transforms to a young and beautiful woman, the kind of man would die for, and the husband acts as if she's the most precious thing in the world to him. Hmm. As for my poverty, which you reprove, Almighty God himself in whom we move, believe and have our being, chose a life of poverty, and every man or wife, nay, every child can see a heavenly king, could never stoop to choose a shameful thing. This further proves the assumption that the knight didn't learn anything significant, and hasn't truly altered his ways for the better. The story ends with the knight living happily ever after to his beautiful and faithful wife for he has given her control, though not for the right reasons. The knight has not shown an appropriate amount of understanding of what women most desire. This has been Bedtime Podcast. Isaiah Nelson, signing out.